Hello, I'm Mary and thank you so much for coming. I pray that as you listen to this video today, your life will not remain the same again. Bible to Genesis 45. Let's do this very fast. Genesis 45, verse 7 to 9. Can, can, you, can you not do this to me, please? Five, seven to nine, and Matthew six and verse ten. But let's do Genesis forty-five, seven to nine. And God sent me before you to to preserve you a posterity in the earth, and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither. You sold me, but God sent me. It was not you that sent me hither, and he, but God, and he had made me a father to Pharaoh. And the Lord of all his house, and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Haste ye, and go up to my father, and say unto him, Thus saith thy son, Joseph, this is an instruction. From rejection to giving instruction. God hath made me Lord of all Egypt. Come down unto me. Tarry not. This was not a negotiation. It was an instruction. Matthew 6 verse 10. Matthew 6 verse 10. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I'm sharing on thy kingdom come from pain to power. On bracket from pain to power. Thy kingdom come right in bracket from pain to power. God is aware of your pains. God is aware of your struggle. The place where we read was a young man called Joseph who had a dream. His dream implicated him. He was hated not for an offense he committed. He was hated for daring to dream. And the problem was, by reason of his dream, people don't understand, the thing that Joseph's dream was the content. The problem Joseph had was not the content of his dream. The problem he had was daring to dream at all. Because number one, he was given a coat of many colors and only the one who has inheritance is given the coat. So that was already a problem. They already felt that the inheritance was going to him. Number two, he was telling them, I dreamt. That was an insult. That was an abuse because only old men dream dreams. He was not supposed to dream. But by reason of the garments that the father gave to him, the father transferred the capacity of the old man upon the young man. So he began to dream. So that was a problem he had. And all of them stood against him. He was kind enough to tell them their own place in the dream. He was kind enough to tell them their own portion in the dream. That speaks of a good heart. But they had to fight him and they lost him. Write this down. When you have a good heart, you don't lose people, they lose you. When you have a good heart, you don't lose people, they lose you. This man was abandoned. This man was forgotten. This man was relegated. Nobody ever thought anything good. He was abandoned. Do you know Joseph's father was alive? Yet Joseph never felt fatherly love. There are some of you who are crying that you are orphans, crying that you have no mother, crying you have no father. But it's more terrible that your father is still alive and you are an orphan. It's more terrible. Your father is still living, but your life is miserable. Joseph had no friend. Listen to this. No matter who sits with you in an exam hall, no matter how much they love you, they can't mark your script. 
No matter the love they have for you, they cannot mark your script. What was God doing? God allowed all that happen to orchestrate Joseph out of a place because the father's house do you know by then God has just changed the story of Jacob to become Israel and there was minimal expansion and God knew that the dream of Joseph could not come to pass in that limited space so he had to allow something happen the brothers thought they were selling him but God was sending him he had to allow something happen to take him out of that cosmos out of that ecosystem out of that space into a place where fulfillment will become easy am i communicating right now and also position a time when it will be needed to keep him for a time do you know as you believe god for a turnaround time is very important when a when a football enters a net it is called what it's called what and when there's a goal, it means a team is winning. Is that true? Is that true? Anytime there is a goal, it means a team. You lied. You lied. Anytime a ball enters a net, it's a goal. That does not mean a team is winning. A team is only winning when there's a match. If there is no match and you carry football alone and kick into a goal, you are wasting your time. It is only called a goal when there is... There are times God will allow certain things happen to allow people watch you on this side, watch you on that side. And because if that miracle had happened without people around, it will not make an impact. So we allow them know about your problem, know about your struggle, know about your rejection, know about your hardship, know about your setback. And they are getting to ask when will things turn around? When their interest is aroused, heaven shows up so that your testimony cannot be ignored. Carry a football now. Go to a stadium alone. Kick it into the feet. You are doing drama. There's no trophy. But let it be a match. Let people gather. Let them sit down. Let them be watching. If that same thing you did alone, when nobody was there, if somebody does it, there's a reward. But what am I saying in the context of that? The reason why it appears as if nothing is happening in your life despite prayer. God wants more people to know about your problem. God wants more people to know about your battle. God wants more people to know about your challenge. So that when heaven shows up, no one will say they were not aware. I speak into your life by the mandate of God. Everyone under the sound of my voice. The same people that sold you. The same people that betrayed you. The same people that turned their backs on you. God is about to lift you to a level where they will kiss the dust of your feet. I said they will kiss the dust of your feet. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Take your seat. There are orchestration. Do you know? Take your seat, please. Take your seat. Take your seat. There are divine orchestration. Sometimes you must go through pain. It is, it is, it is normal. Do you know? The terror, the father of Abraham, went through pain because of a son that he lost. The Bible says, and Haran died before Terah in Genesis chapter 11. And Haran died before his father Terah. Open your hand if you are a parent. You will not know the grave of your children. You will not know the burial ground of your children. In Genesis 11, and Haran died before Terah, his father. Aaron died before his father Terah and Terah was so heartbroken Terah was so dejected Terah was so devastated and when Terah could not take it in fact if you study your Bible the Bible says and when where Terah died he named the place Haran he named the place after his son Terah died in Haran he named the place Haran and after a while the Bible says and Terah died. You know, for many years, 
when I saw that Terah died, I felt Terah died because he was restricting Abraham. Terah had no business with Abraham. Terah didn't die because of Abraham. God didn't kill Terah because of Abraham. In those days, it is grandfathers that bless their sons. You remember when Joseph brought Ephraim and Manasseh to Jacob? It was the duty of grandfathers to bless their son. God knew if Terah with all the battles on his life was still around, what blessing will Terah bless Isaac? What blessing can... Because the, 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 the future of Abraham is Isaac. What blessing will Terah put on Isaac? So God took him out. There are orchest divine orchestrations we can't understand. Don't never try to understand God. Never try to understand the workings of God. <gasps> Joseph was in pain. It is painful. It is painful to see people who you thought could reason with you turn around to betray you. It is painful. It is painful. But in your crisis, in your pain, all that Joseph had was the gift of dreams. He could dream. But his problem was he didn't understand the dream. And that tells you, sometimes stop trying to understand everything. He dreamt. But when he got to prison, the gift of interpretation met him in prison. There are some things that will not happen in your life now. It will only happen in your days of process. When you are going through process, there is a side of God that you do not understand. That is unveiled to you. That is why you must allow God to do his work and stop struggling with God. Because you cannot bet forth on until you are at rest. God wanted to bring out of Adam Eve and God made sure Adam was put to sleep. God wanted to bring out of Jesus the church through water and blood. He made sure that Jesus had to sleep in death. There are things that can come out of your side unless you get to the point of surrender. There are things that can come out of you unless you get to the point where you totally totally surrender. Where it's not your head that is working. It's not your head. Not even your soul. It is the Holy Ghost. The problem we are having today in the body of Christ is that there are too many women that are preaching. Uh, yes, it's a revelation. Let Paul said, let no woman preach on the altar. That's our crisis. But you don't understand it. Because woman was not gender. No wonder David said in Psalm 34 verse 2. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. So whenever the soul is speaking instead of the spirit. It is the woman in you talking. Am I talking to somebody? So you can be a man and the woman in you. Which is the soul dimension. Is gaining expression instead of the spirit. So when Paul said let women keep silent. He was not talking of gender. He was not talking of sexuality. He was saying when you stand on the pulpit. Your soul which is Psalm 34 verse 2 he said my soul shall make her boast her boast let the soul shut up and let the Holy Ghost speak so God is not putting a, a gender ban on the pulpit so you can be a man and the woman in you is talking you can be male <laughs> My soul shall make her. Many of us are operating from the soulish realm. Trying to calculate how things will happen. Trying to calculate and plan in the flesh. But God said, let that part be silent. Let the Holy Ghost have expression. Let the Holy Ghost gain ascendancy. Am I talking to somebody here? From convert your pain to power. Convert your pain. So, Joseph... The Bible says, he told his brothers. He says, it's not you. Don't take credit. So the battles you are going through now, no one should claim to be behind it. Am I talking to somebody here? No one should take credit for putting you in pain. No one should take credit for putting you in the pain you are going through right now. His brothers were envious. Envy does not improve the envious. Envy does not improve the envious. It empowers the envied. 
Envy does not improve the envious. It only empowers the envied. Whenever you are envious and jealous of a man, whenever you are envious and jealous of a person, and you start taking steps to see them retarded and stunted, you empower them. Because God hates conspiracy. God takes side with them. Am I communicating right now? Am I communicating right now? Yes. And the Bible says, he said to them, you meant this for evil. Number one, on having an understanding that God overrules wicked intentions. That is why what God deal, wants us to deal with is not actions. God never, in warfare, what we deal with is not actions. It is imaginations. It is thoughts. Because if they don't think it, they can't do it. Stop handling the success of the plan. Frustrate the process of the plan. He says, casting down imagination. But there are many of us who wait for imaginations to become actions. Stop tackling actions. Content imagination. And bringing into captivity every thought. Every thought. Many of us wait till it becomes the success of the plan. God said, no, deal with the process of the plan. Deal with it while it's still in their minds. Am I communicating right now? While it's still in their mind, while they are still trying to process it. There are people who sit down on their comfort, the confines of their houses, and they're imagining vain things. He said, the kings of the earth take cancer together. He said, but he that sits in heaven, he shall laugh and have them in derision. In the name that's above every name, Elohim, El Elyon, El Gebaho, every satanic thought, demonic imagination, satanic machinations is hereby frustrated. Is hereby frustrated. Is hereby frustrated. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. God overrules wicked intentions whatever you are going through now the bible says it sees the end from the beginning i used to be very addicted to wrestling you know wrestling wwf wwe i used to watch wrestling a lot i would buy buy cassettes i watch wrestling i watch wrestling and i was so excited watching them until i got to understand that wrestling is a fixed fight No matter the intensity of what you see, it is arranged. That is why you can do everything. Normally, they pick up a, a, a champion and say, Hawk Organ, you are going to be a champion for the next 20 years. We are going to make sure you get deals. We are going to make sure you become, you, you model for outfits. You do this and that. And this will be our percentage. We are going to package you very well. So you beat Hogan and beat him and beat him. He gets to a point. You hit him. He looks at you. It's an arrangement. You hit him again, he looks at you. And all you are doing is just to touch him a bit. And it begins to go around like that. He's shaking. He's, and it's a fixed fight. What you are going through now is a fixed fight. The winner was decided before the fight began. That is why with all the beating on Hulk Hogan, once it begins to vibrate and gyrate like that, three, four punches, you're on the floor. He jumps on you, lifts your leg, he's arranged. When they were doing back review, I saw how, how Undertaker taps Cain and they touch themselves and they rise at the same time. God said, this thing you are going through, before you were born, it has been arranged. Now listen to me. Why us is different is that the script is in your favor. The referee is in your favor. The trophy is in your favor. Everything about it is in your favor. Am I talking to somebody right now? Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones and none shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the right us. God overrules wicked intentions. Listen, you know, when I read the second to the last verse of Job 42, ah, I read it one day and tears came out of my eyes. At this second, he said, After this, Job lived. After this, Job lived. After all this, what they thought would kill him. When 
the problem was there, the man that went through the problem lived. That tells you that this cannot kill you. After this, Job lived. I read that the Lord said, pause, take it again. I read it say pause, take it again. I read it say pause, take it again. He said, that means problems can't extinguish you. Your problems won't see your end. You will see their end. Whatever has not killed you cannot kill you. Whatever has not swallowed you cannot swallow you. You will see the end of this battle. You will see the end of the pain. You will see the end of the confrontation. You will see the end of the contradiction. After this job. After this. So it could not kill him. Even when the battle was over, Job lived 140. Pastor Courage was sharing something. Jesus said, this woman who has been bound these 18 years in the synagogue, who told him it was 18 years? It was not a word of knowledge. It was not a discussion. When he was 12, he entered that synagogue. He saw the woman. When he was asking question, he saw her. Now he was 30. He said, this woman, this woman, 18 years ago, I was 12. I saw her. But I was not empowered then. 18 years ago, that means there are things you saw in your family years ago. You were not empowered at that time. There are things you saw in your family 20 years ago. There was a pattern in the family. As a day you were not, but now the Holy Ghost has come. It is your time to correct it. I say it's your season to correct it. Errors have been corrected. Errors have been corrected. Errors have been corrected. Errors have been corrected. And that's what God said to tell you. Wicked intention. It doesn't matter who is thinking it. It doesn't matter who is thinking it. They will not execute it. I said they will not execute it. They will not execute it. God, imagine God wanting to use a man to both preserve his family, preserve a nation. Look at the drama in his life. Ladies and gentlemen, transition is filled with confusion. Transition is filled with confusion. If God's hand is upon your life and God has an agenda, a generational agenda for you, get ready to live a life filled with drama. Scripts. Things that you can't tell people. Things you can't even explain. If the hand of God for your life, a mandate of God for your life is beyond the shores of your family, beyond the confines of your extended nuclear family, beyond the confines of your community, the bigger the assignment, the more the drama filled life, the bigger the mandate, the more the terrible challenges that you can't even comprehend. The more you pray, the more it appears the mountain remains insurmountable because there is a mandate on your life. Am I communicating? And by the force of grace and the power of God, that which God has said concerning you, it shall receive accelerated fulfillment. Transition is loaded with confusion. When you look at life, stop. You see, there are certain things that will happen to you in life. And it's as though heaven has left you. Heaven has left you. Heaven has left you. But heaven actually has not left you. Because it doesn't leave us. It says, I will not leave you nor forsake you. God never leaves us. It is we that leave him. He never leaves us. He can't leave us. He can't. Where is he leaving us too? He can't leave us. He's always with us. Even unto the end of the world. He's standing with us. But it's we that walk away. It's like when I used to pray, I said, Lord, move in my life. God said to where? He said, I don't move. I said, why? He said, movement is succession. 
movement in succession from one point to another point. He said, I occupy the world. So where am I moving to? He said, I don't move, son. I only move my people. That is why if you study your Bible, listen, when, when it was time of Moses, time of Joshua, there was an ark. Right? There was an ark because God wanted to move. God wanted to go to places. But when it was the time of Solomon, he said, build me a house. I want to stay. I want to occupy. I want to stay. I want to stay. There are intentions of hell. So when God begins to orchestrate, everything we see in scripture is a typology. For example, the woman with the issue of blood. Why was Jesus in a hurry to heal that woman? Blood kept flowing. 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 As soon as the woman was healed, a child died. Only death could stop that flow. Mm -hmm. Because in the Old Testament it was a season of blood sacrifice. Blood of animals were killed. Blood of bulls were killed. Blood of goats were killed. But someone had to die to stop the blood sacrifice. Jairus daughter to go. A typology that is time to stop blood sacrifices. There are people, if your mind is opened by the Spirit and you know how far certain people can go to implement things against you, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. If discussions that are made over you behind closed doors you are privy to hear just a pinch of it. My God. We are talking about the situation, myself and my pastors, over a minister that was plotting something against me. And it was, I mean, he had a clash with somebody and the person sent part of it to us. When we were hearing things, What? As he sent to me, I sent it to him. I forg- I said, it's nothing. I forgive you, but this is the end. Don't talk to me. I won't talk to you. Uh, we are not quarreling. And you wonder when people have so much time and such intentions to carry money, invest money, to say they must go down, not you. And you're on the pulpit. What are you preaching? What nonsense are you preaching? Am I co- communicating here? And you just notice that they don't go beyond the level. The reason God does not allow evil men to grow too much, if they grow more than they have grown, he knows what they will do. So he just he keep them at a level. They just revolve around that level. But God overrules wicked intentions. I say, God, so long men are not God, their word is not final. So long men are not God, their words are not final. Their declarations, utterances, proverbs, insinuations over you are not final. Number two. When the Lord showed me this, I was amazed. Why do I have to convert my pain to power? Because of the necessity of posterity. Posterity. Not prosperity. Posterity. Joseph said, God sent me for posterity. There are times... Why will God kill certain strong men? Posterity. So that other strong men will know that you don't hold a child of God and nothing happens. Sometimes evidence is needed for the sake of what? Posterity. Posterity. Why does God have to bless you? Not to prove a point. But just to let someone know that serving God is not a waste. Posterity. Posterity. Why must you cry? Stop 
Don't get to a point when you relax and you just feel you have prayed, you have fasted, and nothing is happening. There are people looking at you, and they just want your life to be a posterity to boost their confidence. Your life to be posterity. Let God just prove and show that he is still God, and serving God is not a waste. Let the God that answers by fire show himself for the sake of posterity. He says, if thou shouldest mark iniquity, who can stand not necessarily because of your qualification but to prove himself posterity posterity so posterity is a necessity he said i went through all of this but god lifted me for posterity just to establish his name just to prove that connectivity to god is not a waste to prove that connectivity to God is not a waste. There are people that enjoyed the blessing of God through the wisdom of Joseph before his brothers came. There are people that were sustained while the brothers were still hungry. I told you yesterday, it's not relations, it's relationship. There are people that were getting the benefit of his wisdom via provision. Because of the value. Posterity. Posterity. Why will Abraham wait till 75? Waited that long. Waited that long. Was he holding on to God? And God brought a child for posterity. There are things God must do in your life just to set the record straight. Americans have been caught with you for 50 years. The man dies, hands over the case to the son. Why are, they, why are they vehement for justice? For posterity. So that when the time comes and their children or grandchildren are discussing the matter, it will be heard that someone stood to fight for justice. So when we cry to God for vengeance, it's for posterity. We are crying to God for vengeance is to set the record straight. We are crying to God for the release of his grace, for vindication and bringing you out of the mighty clay, setting your feet on the rock, in the name of Jesus, may justice, justice that only God can give, uh, may justice that exudes from the throne of God be upstanding, be upstanding, be upstanding. Lord, fight my battle for posterity's sake. Posterity. Why would God explode the ministry in the location for posterity? So that that talk of no, no church grows and no church, that statement should change. That statement. Posterity. Oh, nobody becomes great in our family. Nobody becomes great. That statement, God says, I want to change it. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's about posterity. It's about me changing that utterance. Changing that statement. Averting and reversing that decree. Posterity. Posterity is a necessity. God for posterity. Why must God bless you financially and give you cars? Posterity. You can't, you can't drive more than one car at a time. You can't. Posterity. And you must understand you have to. <laughs> can, can I talk to somebody here? Listen. In nations like America, Europe, and all that, there are things people are scared of doing. Not because they can't do it, but they know the repercussions attached to it. Posterity tells them that somebody did this before I went to jail. So don't try it. Wickedness we reduce if we crave for posterity. That there are some people that heaven has to punish. Just punish. So that others will learn. Somebody who, 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 who wanted to join us. We are two prayer, myself and somebody, prayer partners. Somebody wanted to join us. And... He said something that um, he has a revelation 
that he doesn't pray. He just got a, a revelation from God, an encounter from God, to stop praying against enemies. So, I told the other man, I said, this man can't join us. I said, yeah, I said, can't join us. I said, I, I don't have energy to start explaining from scripture. I, I don't have that time at all. Anything you believe, believe, but stay far. Anything you believe, believe it, but stay far. Uh, stay. Anything you believe, it's okay. But stay very far. Because we can't be praying together and praying one thing, you are praying something else. No. You must get to understand. It says, they are for a prey. And no one said, deliver. For a spoil. And none says, restore. There are things that we cannot allow continue. There are things we can't allow continue. There are things we can't allow. There are human hands. Human involvement. Even God, David, David, he prayed against God's enemies. God has enemies. Let God arise. Let his. Psalm 68 verse 1. Numbers 10 verse 35. Let his. We're going to pray. Lord, for posterity's sake, change my story. Now we know that, now we know that there are people lions don't eat. Posterity told us that. Now we know that you can violate the law and get what you want. So long it is moral, Esther did it. Now we know that your, your supply is not a functionality of what is in the bank. Five loaves of bread and two fishes told us that. Posterity. God has to do certain things. How can you relocate from a house? Because people that live in that house before, they don't prosper. People that live in... That you are packing out. I know you will pack out. But before you pack out, let posterity change it. And pack out into your own property. But change that story. Hey! I don't have to tell you what happened, what was happening here before in this town. Those who grew up here can tell the story better. What is happening in our ministry is not is, is strange. It's posterity. Posterity. And there are people that are angry when other people are dreaming. Some people spend time to dream and others spend time to plot against their dream. Someone is being blessed, it becomes a crime. Must we all be poor? Someone becomes blessed, it becomes a crime to somebody else. Go! He says, not you. Go, come, all of you come here. Go and tell him! Imagine a man that they threw into the pit. Gathered his elders and send them to the father. Say, tell him to come. He's my father, but I'm a father to Pharaoh. If he bettered me, but God has elevated me. We are going to make... Our prayer today is for posterity. When that becomes your mentality, your testimony is guaranteed. You are saying, Lord, it's not about me. It's your name. It's not about me. Do this for your name's sake. You know what the Lord said? He said, rather than my name to be polluted among the hidden, I will intervene. Rather than my name. Posterity. And that's your, that's your cry to God today. For your namesake. For your namesake. Visit my son, my daughter. Visit my home. Visit my life. Take away this reproach. Take away this pain. Let the reproach go. For your namesake. Lord, let, let posterity. Posterity. Poster Are you ready now? Say, my father, my father. Shout it louder. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. For your name's sake. 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 Change my story. Open your mouth and fire prayer.
Open your mouth. for listening to the end i pray that whatever that you have listened today you are not going just to keep it but you're going to do what god has told you through this message and please kindly if you're new here or you are not so i mean you have not subscribed kindly just click on the red button below the video and subscribe to this my channel and also you can share this video with someone else thank you so much and see you in my next video bye